so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. Hi friends, welcome to this video. I'm really excited about this video because it was a last second decision and I'm filming this after the week. So let me just explain. So I read this book. I found this book on Facebook. It was in a mod podge of other things. This was the post that I saw and it's 10 skills, 50 books to learn this year. So I was like, I really need to learn discipline this year because I am taking my MCAT in April. I am applying to med school this summer, so I need to be pretty disciplined. So my thought process was, well, if I can read this book, maybe it'll help. So I never heard of David Goggins before. I may have heard the name, but I didn't know who he was. So I started reading the book, not knowing anything about his story. Wow, literally changed my mindset, has changed the way that I look at things. And now, since then, I've been listening to his podcast and I put one at the beginning of this video to kind of introduce what this video is about. Basically maintaining habits and breaking old ones. So I'm focusing more on bringing in new habits, which I wrote them all down. I had to refilm this part of the video, but I went with you and like talked through each one. So here on the side is me actually writing them whenever I first wrote them out, what I wanted to do. And this week is basically showing you whether or not I was able to implement them. There was some downfalls of like waking up late or you know not going and doing the exercise that I wanted to do but the biggest point is that you have to stay disciplined and have willpower that even if things go wrong you keep doing what you need to do because you know you need to do it and sometimes you don't want to but that's the whole point and that's the whole David Goggins mentality. So that's what this video is. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys may take away something from this and hopefully read his book and look into his content. But yeah, that's all for this introduction and let's get into the week. So I have been swimming more often. <laughs> Literally just started yesterday. I've probably been twice <laughs> since I got like my bathing suit, but I want to start swimming more often. And I really like it because I don't have headphones to wear in the pool. So I really just like am thinking. And I think that thinking is like the best way to master your mind. Because when we have all these distractions, like even on your runs, if you're listening to music or like lifting and you've got that motivation when you're swimming, there's like no external motivation. It's just like you, the pool, your mind, your thoughts. So whenever I'm like, oh my gosh, this sucks. I just have to like rely on myself to get through it. And that's kind of where I am trying to put myself in situations like that to test myself. I've got my towel and bathing suit. So to motivate me, I've decided to display my half marathon medals, which I did one winter trail half marathon and then one um, she half marathon with all women. So these are both reminders that I can do hard things. And if you've listened to David Goggins, these are some of my cookies in the cookie jar. Your mom has a cookie jar and sometimes you might have an Oreo. Sometimes you might have a Chips Ahoy. Sometimes you might have an oatmeal raisin cookie. You never know, it's just in there. My cookie jar, has every single failure and success of my life. And sometimes you forget how hard you are in times of, of, of need. I calm down, take that one second, get control of my life, reach in the cookie jar. You're the only person in history to do this, this, and this. Put it back in the cookie jar, reset my mind. You have to remind yourself of how badass you really are. I'm gonna pack, I also have goggles. I wore a cap yesterday for my hair. Hair gets completely soaked. Am I putting it on wrong? I think I put it on wrong. All the swimmers at the pool are probably like, she's literally never swam before. And I never had a swim team in high school. We never had a swim team in any part of my school because I went to a small school. So I don't actually know how to swim. I'm actually training myself to learn how to kick my legs whenever I do the regular strokes because I've only ever swam like breaststroke. I think that's what it's called where you kick your legs out. So like kicking my legs like this is so hard for me. So I'm a novice when it comes to swimming. I love to swim, but I'd actually like to learn. So maybe someday I can do like a triathlon. But as of right now, I look so, so silly. Rec basketball is starting soon. I'm so excited. So maybe I'll go to the gym sometime this week, even though that counts as something that I actually want to do. I'm ready to take on today. We've got this. You guys have got this. If you guys are working on a habit, 
I believe in you. I'm about to go. I don't think I have the courage to film on this camera, at least when I run, because I'm afraid someone will steal my camera. I'm so glad that I'm filming this. Oh, I'm excited for this video. Okay, my Spotify DJ. Glad you're here. I got great stuff for you today. I'm ready. I ran a mile. I could only run a mile because I was literally dying. I was gassed. And then I went downstairs and I shot some basketballs with Isaac. And a lot of the times guys won't let me be on their teams or don't ask me even if they need another person because like I'm a girl. And I get it. Not really because I can play basketball as well. Just as we like literally pack up to leave, this guy was like, we need a fourth. And I was like, oh, can I? And they were like, yeah, like sure. And it was so fun. I literally did not make a shot, but like I hustled, <laughs> I got rebounds. So I am like, whew, I am dying a little bit, but I got my workout in. I'm having a body armor. Tonight I'm gonna study and then do the rest of my habits. And so far I'm on track, so. So the rest of my night, I'm gonna have my static stretching, the hip flexors, my deliberate worry session. And then I'm also gonna read my Bible and maybe study a little bit if I can. I want to also go to sleep early though so I can wake up at 7 tomorrow. My camera dies. The reason that I'm doing stretches and hip flexor exercises is just because I need to increase flexibility and the only thing that's stopping me is discipline and sitting down and doing it so that's why it's in the routine. No. In my defense. Next thing I'm gonna do is my deliberate worry and Bible reading. So I'm gonna set you guys up. The reason I'm sitting down and writing out my worries is to reassociate my brain as bedtime not being worry time and setting out a specific time to worry. I'm about to shower and in my night, but one thing I wanted to add was that I created an accountability mirror, which is something that David Goggins mentions in his book. Basically like sticking sticky notes of things that you wanna accomplish whether it's harsh or nice, he takes the harsh approach. I'm gonna try the harsh approach just because I feel like if he can take it, I'm gonna try to take it. So I wrote everything on my mirror. I'm not gonna show you because it's some of it's a little bit personal, but um, yeah, I look at it every day when I get ready. Hi. Okay, you've gotta move. Dang it, I did not wake up at 7 a.m. But I'm not gonna let that stop me and I'm not gonna lie and say that I did. So, just made my coffee and I needed to find time to work out today. So those are my goals. We've got this today. So I'm gonna edit a video first and then I'm gonna start studying. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. Second cup of coffee, Boo has the zoomies. Okay, so I published this video. Yay! I'm doing my deliberate worry and my Bible study. I wanted to share something that helps me interpret scripture. So this is Matthew 13. I get what it's saying, but I want to see like what scholars say about it. So I have this app. It's the Blue Letter Bible. You press on the text. You press text commentaries. And I really like David Gusick. So then I scroll to the verse which is 18 and then I can actually like read what it says and what they meant the book is great I've read I've read it like sat down okay I'm making my first meal of the day I guess I had cereal this morning but this is what I've been eating like pretty consistently I am not focusing on healthy eating, I'm focusing on less calorie intake because let's be honest, like I'm not, I'm never going to live a very consistently healthy diet, like eating only fruits and vegetables, like it's just not gonna happen. So I think as long as I eat less than I 
burn, then that's what will keep me losing weight. So I'm eating this chicken Alfredo lean cuisine meal. So I'm gonna eat that and then I might have some of this again. It's more about like making sure I'm under calories. So let's do a little check-in today. I'm eating my thing. I also got a measuring, a food scale to like actually measure out what I'm eating because when it says like one ounce or like 28 grams, I don't know how much that is. Like, and sometimes the pieces are not proportional. So now I actually know how much I'm consuming today. Okay, I did my hip flexor exercises, did static stretches, read my Bible this morning, still need to read it tonight, wrote out my worries for the day, didn't wake up at 7 a.m., but that's not gonna ruin my day because would it let David Goggins ruin his day? No, he would get up and probably do more that day than he wanted to do. So I'm sticking to my diet of staying under calories. I still have a thousand calories left, which is awesome because that means I can eat a pretty big dinner. The gym and studying. My friend's coming over to study soon. Okay, so I may not swim tonight. I may just go play basketball. I'm gonna bring my swim stuff in case I'm really feeling like it. I got my workout in. So let me talk about what happened. And I was like trying to be confident. I'm just sitting there and every time I go shoot at a basket, everybody would like flee the baskets, like all the guys, there was no girls there. And so I was like, dang it, like they hate me. <laughs> uh, or they just don't want me to be around. So I was like, oh, so I'm just sitting there watching like these people scrimmage. And this guy comes over to me and he's like, do you want to play? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, we well, have to ask. He's like, um, you just go up to guys and you say like, do you have five? And then they'll either say like, yes or no. And then you can join their team. And he's like, it may be hard for introverts. I was like, I'm not an introvert. This is just like the second time that I've been here. I didn't know like how it works. He's like, yeah, just go ask somebody. And so I went and asked this team and they let me play with them. And it was fun. I played two and a half games. I'm so glad that I like took a step out of my comfort zone. Okay, so now I didn't go to the gym cause like I really feel like I worked out a lot. I haven't ate, I ate a little salad before my friend Sierra came and studied. So I think I'm gonna eat something else. And I have to read my Bible tonight. I think that's, is that all I have left on my list? I made it to the end of the day. I'm actually so tired. Playing basketball makes me exhausted. Um, I've been slacking on my actual school stuff, so I'm gonna catch up on school stuff tomorrow. Hopefully make some time. Maybe I wake up and do MCAT and then do the school stuff later in the day because I just really, really need to stay up on the MCAT studying. I changed it to this sweatshirt because I want to go study in my lounge and the other one just didn't match as good, but oh my gosh, my whole body hurts so bad. No pain, no gain, am I right? to keep studying but I have to get ready for church. I did 194 cards today and then I read two chapters of the book. I just now realized I didn't do my stretches. So I'm listening to the David Goggins Joe Rogan podcast and then I just was listening and I guess like one of their friends, he wakes up every morning at like 4.30 and he earns the sunrise and i think that that's a really cool thing because like when you when you view life in that perspective like it's just so much you're you're using your life so much more valuably i know i look different because i usually don't wear my bangs because <laughs> i can't tell if i want to grow them out or hide them these are the boots i don't know you're my baby 
Be my baby, babe. Okay, so I got kind of caught up in a conversation. It was really good though, so I'm not mad about it. I still have lots of time to work out and study. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym again. I wanna run first and then swim. But I'm afraid that if I see people playing, I'm gonna wanna play. <laughs> so we'll see if I actually swim. I may just end up playing basketball again. This is my progress. I'm eating Subway. I did not swim. I just got caught up in the game. So I'm back. I have a paper to write. I have assignments to do. It's due at midnight. Got a little too caught up in basketball today. I'm doing my online class right now for human sexuality. Um, I have to write a paper, finish this assignment, and then write a journal. All tonight before midnight, it's 10. I'm gonna get out my cool keyboard for this. I'm wearing a towel wrap, so that's why I look a little different, but I just watched that video of me trying to get in the cold shower. I like, <laughs> in the moment, I literally felt so scary. Watching that, I was literally only under it for like very, very small amount of time, so I'm gonna add taking a cold shower, like starting with a cold shower for as long as I can take it. I was like, what do I have to think about for me to do this? And that's kind of where I was at with that and I actually like thought about like what have I done that's hard and then I just thought about how those were so much harder than like, taking a cold shower and like how sometimes I've even had to take cold showers when the hot water's out it's just like because I was building it up in my head and it really wasn't that bad it definitely like hurt but then like I knew I was gonna turn the hot water on so yeah it was something I probably need to implement more often because it sucks and I think we need to do more things that really suck to figure out how we can get ourselves to do things that we don't really want to do, that we need to do, so. Well, my 7 a.m. roll fell through. I woke up so late. I have an event for my residence. It was supposed to be at 11. I woke up at 11.30. I think it's just because my body is so tired. I don't know. I like skipped all my alarms and slept through it. But I'm gonna speed run some of the stretches. I have to wash my face, clean my room. And I'm gonna study in the lounge. I'm going home. I have not wrote my paper. It's 9 o'clock. I'm gonna try to get it done by like 3 a.m. tonight, which sounds late and it is late. But I did this to myself. I had it all day and I didn't do it. So that's my own fault. Looks like I am in a little bit over my head. I underestimated this assignment. I think that what I'm gonna do is go to bed and then wake up at like 4.30 and take my ADHD medicine and then write this because I was gonna take it now and stay up all night, but it's just not gonna be good for me. Um, did not do my deliberate worry session, but right now all I can think of is this paper and my plan for this paper is to write it tomorrow. So I kind of did it in my head, but I guess, I don't know, maybe I'll write it. I'll just write it down really fast. See you guys early in the morning. I'm gonna set like 20 alarms. Oh, there's so much to do, but. <laughs> 6.24. I have about 500 words. I need 750 to 1,000. I took a break. I've been up since 4.45. I am gonna start some laundry just to like give myself a break, make some coffee, and then start writing again.
guess what? I finished it. Uh, I was like in bed last night thinking about like how nice it would be to be done but it just like did not feel possible because I had like literally nothing done and I actually really like my paper it's like fine I actually feel like it's decent and yeah I just did not see this ever happening especially 826 yay nice I did my laundry this morning two of the things two of the loads didn't dry I feel like things are falling apart. I got ready a little bit. I made the executive decision that I'm just not gonna make it to my first class because I still have my laundry and I just don't want people to steal my clothes because I actually have like good clothes, my good clothes in the dryer right now and I just don't feel comfortable leaving them. But I don't wanna get them out wet because they didn't dry. So I guess I just have to skip my first class, which is frustrating because I really wanted to go and i have an exam in there on thursday but i guess i can just really like study hard and hopefully use my common sense skills this is me from the future i'm editing this video i hate that i ended this video on such a negative note but i do want to say that this week really inspired me to read my bible every day and that's a habit that i've continued to realize the importance of stretching and how easy it can be if you prioritize it honestly it showed me that prioritization of habits that you want to create or implement in your life is so easy if you just focus your attention on them so i'm going to continue to do that i have some videos coming up where i am focusing on different goals spiritually and uh, growing my faith but also just things that are going to make me a better person and more disciplined so i feel like this video was really good for me and this week was a good challenge for me so i hope you guys took something away from it um subscribe if you want to like this video and i'll be posting some video content in the future of more inspirational stuff i don't know if it's inspirational hopefully and i hope you guys stick around and i will see you guys super soon thank you for watching this whole video i really really appreciate it bye